Hey guys, uh, today I am going to be showing you the Zomoto Sight 180 HD camera. Now this is an indoor camera and it's also one of the new models for them that will work with your Alexa Show. So if you happen to have an Alexa Show, you'll be able to ask it to show you the camera. Well, so I'm going to go ahead and also show you that after we get done with the setup process. Um, for starters, I'm going to go over the camera just really quick with you and then we'll start showing you how to get this connected up and then we'll end with showing you on the Alexa show as well. So for starters, let's look at what comes in the box. Um, this is the actual camera itself, so it detaches from the stand and then it is plugged in already to the power source which feeds through there's a hole here in the stand and that allows you to actually put this at pretty much any angle you want to have it at and aim it wherever you'd like for it to be when you actually look at the camera itself what we have is you've got your infrared lights are all around here um, your microphone is located here on the side. If you can see that it says microphone. Your speakers are located in the back. And then the camera lens itself is right in the center. Um, you've got sensor lights. Uh, your status light is the light right here, which is currently blue. You can see that. Now, I happen to own many Zomoto cameras. Um, I also have some MeShare as well as Funlux cameras. They are all the same, basically the same camera. They just put some different names on them. And you can use either the Zomoto app or the MeShare app. We're going to go ahead and use the Zomoto one. So the first thing you want to do is go in and download that app, which is free. And once you download the app, you're going to want to register that. It'll ask you to go ahead and register right there within the app. And then you'll get something that looks like this. So I'm going to turn my lights down a little bit more so we don't get the glare from them. And as you can see, I've got my other cameras are on there as well. So to add a camera, all you need to do is start by pressing the plus sign there in the corner. So the instructions say for you to go ahead and select the zinc option. That is one option you can do. The other one is you can go down and you can just follow the instruction guide if you want to do that one. Quick and simple, but I just want to show you a backup way. You can go down to uh, the wireless device and check wireless device again and it's going to find your device. So that way you don't have to go in and change what your existing Wi-Fi setup is. So I can just hit the plus button. Now it wants me to go ahead and name this camera and then also give it a password. So I'm gonna do that real quick off screen. And this is going to, uh, I'm just gonna name it Room. So I haven't quite decided where I'm gonna put it just yet. And you can always change the names on your camera at any time. Okay, so now you can see I have named it room and password is not showing for you. So I will hit the plus sign. And this is where it's going to uh, let me sign up for 30 days of the cloud services. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, that's just something you can come back and do later on. So I will hit the minus button. And it says my device has successfully been added. Now it asks if I want to share this, meaning with somebody else, um, such as my husband, um, or if I had somebody that was coming over in house sitting, I could share the device with them. I'm not going to do that right now, so I will just hit later. And it shows my camera is right there. Uh, let me turn it to something that's a little more interesting than staring back at my camera. And I should show you here. There's two icons there, and hopefully you can see them. Let me get, I'm sorry, I keep getting the glare off the lights. Uh, this one is live, and this one is playback. So if I hit the live button, that's how quickly it went to the device. 
and down in the corner, and again, this is going to be kind of hard to see, so I'll try and zoom in when I edit, it says LD. So let's press that and switch it over to high definition. You'll also see there's an archway here, and it says 180. So if I simply turn my phone, the camera isn't moving, but it's giving me the view of that full 180 degrees. Now the way I can achieve that is just by simply turning my phone and it goes ahead and gives me that full 180 degree view. So you can see that everything is looking great here in the daytime. Let's start turning some lights off and get it dark in here. I'm going to go ahead and just move the camera into a dark room so you can get an idea of what it looks like with the infrared lighting on. I'm going to try and turn my um, camera here, my phone. You're going to get a little bit of glare from the lights. But you can see how it starts to show the room in infrared. So you have crisp clear vision. All right, there's a few more things in the actual app that I want to be able to share with you. So as you can see, once I'm in the app, I have all of my cameras listed here. Across the top, you will see that there is an edit button right here. That allows you to edit what your modes are. So you have an away mode, a home mode, sleep mode, and wake up. Plus you can create your own. Then we move down to the My Devices section, and there is also an Edit button there. When I'm in that, um, I can actually sort what order, what cameras are going to be in what order. So if I want to move room down and put hallway on the top, maybe I want the front door to be up there, then I can go ahead and hit Save. And when I go back in, now my cameras are in that order. Um, also, when you're in a camera, so you want to be in the live view, so let's go into the hallway camera here. You'll see there is a little settings button up here in the corner. So when you're in there, this is where you can go ahead and change the settings for that particular camera. Different cameras are going to have different options. It just depends on if they have audio in them. Um, it just depends on the camera, like I said, so I'll show you a couple of them. So screen inverted, um, let's say I'm hanging this on a wall, but I have it like hanging upside down. I would want to invert the screen so I'm not having to view everything from upside down. Again, sharing management is where I can go in and choose to share that with anybody else. This is where I can go in and um, look at my cloud services. And then we've got the night vision, so I can choose with night vision. Do I want it always off? Do I want it on auto? Do I want it always on? And how sensitive do I want that to be? And then you can also go in and set your motion detection area. So as you can see, I've just kind of selected a small section over here because we have dogs. I don't want this going off every time my dogs are running around. So I just selected the smallest section I could and I moved it to a wall where um, I really won't get very many um, notifications going on. So go back there. I can also see, sorry, the three little dots here, click on that. And that's where I can go in and change the name of it. It's got my device ID, my version, time zone, and my password. Device version, you do want to check those from time to time because there will be updates to the software, so you always want to make sure that you're on the most current version. And if I ever wanted to delete the device, that's located down at the bottom there. Now let's go into a different camera. I'll go to the front door, and we'll go into the settings. And as you can see, because this one has audio, I now have an option for a microphone. I've got the chime. Um, I've got a ring alert. I can set my voice messages, any accessories that I have for it. I can set the default, default device settings, volumes, and also, again, the motion control on that. 
You'll also notice at the bottom of the screen, I have a recording icon, I have a camera, a microphone, my volume, and then this is the fast back feature. So if I wanted to go ahead and just take a video right now, I can simply press that little video button and you'll see up here in the corner, it's now recording. So it's saving that recording. Also, if maybe somebody came up to my doorstep and I don't know who they are and I want to take their picture, I can just take an instant photo like that and it's now saved that photo. If I want to speak to somebody, I could just simply press and hold this. And you can see there it says now talking. So that allows me to talk to that person. Let go and oops, press it again and now they can I can hear them. And then if I want to mute, I can mute that there, meaning I don't want to hear. So like 4th of July and I don't want to hear the fireworks going off, I could do that. Or I want to go ahead and listen. And then again, we've got the gyro screen here, so I can do 180. But you'll also notice there's two little dots here and we are on the left hand side. I can actually manually move this to whatever position I want to be on. Um, I can just simply flip back and forth and just quickly see the whole thing. Or again, I can just simply just twist my phone to the side. And now I just saw, this is something I'm learning, down here we've got a light control button. So that's bringing up, uh, oops, how light or dark I want it to be. Hmm. So I can adjust that as well. So that's pretty cool. Didn't know I could do that. So that'll just show you a little bit more on, oh, if you notice on my screen, it went a lot brighter too. Here, let's go back into that real quick. I'll take my phone away. So I'm gonna go ahead and darken that. And look what just happened. Uh, I'm gonna put that right in the center. And you can see a lot better. Okay, I like that a lot. I'm glad I think I saw that. Okay, another thing I'll show you down at the very bottom of this app, you'll see Home, Events, Discovery, and Me. So Home is where we are now because it's blue. If I go to Events, it's going to show me any recordings, motions recordings that it's done. And those are because I set the motions to be um, turned on for these devices. If I go to Discovery, this is another place I can go into my cloud services. I can see Moments, which I don't have anything in there. I can see Public Streams. So there are other people out there that have decided to share their cameras. And you can go and look at their cameras if you so choose to. Uh, there's deals, so if you want to see any sales that they have going on, as well as shopping. Which shows all of the cameras that they have available. And then the last thing, oh, and you'll also see down here, this is a live chat button. Um, they have, you go into me, there we go. You have a Zomoto support link right there so you can talk with a person they're offline right now but during their business hours you can go ahead and talk with a representative right online so that's kind of how you will navigate around in the app and just wanted to make sure I shared that with you all right right now we are looking at my Alexa show and you're seeing a reflection of my iPad right here um, let's go ahead and open up the Alexa app, which I have done. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your menu here and scroll down to skills. And you want to search up in the bar for the Zomoto skill. Oops, I can type.
can see I've already done it. And make sure that you go ahead and activate that skill for your Alexa. And we're going to go back, cancel, and we're going to go back into the menu. And we're going to go to Smart Home. So it's showing my other devices that I have connected to my Alexa, and I'm going to now cancel. Click here and add a device. So it's looking for my new camera. It's asking me to make sure that it's turned on and in the pa parry mode and that this might take a minute. So you see the progress going on right now. All right, so if I scroll all the way to the bottom now, I have called room. Right there. So tap to control and edit. So I can tap it. It says I am connected via the me share, which again is the same thing as the moto. Um, it's got the description and it is a camera and it is indeed enabled. So if I take my phone away and say, Alexa, show me the room camera. Okay. There we go. Let's switch that. Alexa, show me the doorbell. Okay. So I do have a Zomoto Greet Pro. So that allows me to watch that camera as well. Alexa, show me hallway. Okay. So now you can see we are looking down my hallway. Alexa, show me the front door. Okay. So you can see just how quick and easy it is to switch between the devices. Um, I do have a couple other videos that I'll have up on the Alexa compatible devices and I'll leave those links down below in my description box as well as all the other videos that I've made for um, I have a playlist for all of my security camera videos so if you enjoyed the video please feel free to give it a thumbs up if you have any non-technical questions please feel free to leave those down below if they are technical please go to zmodo.com and click on support for help there. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a new member. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.